1978, it too was destroyed by fire. It now has been one of the great regional theaters of the world. The Old Globe Theater was built in 1935 for the California Pacific International Expo and quickly became a popular San Diego landmark. That arson fire in 1978 took the building, but not the fighting spirit of those who loved what it meant for our city. World War I was in 1914. This exposition was in 1915. People were not concentrating on the narrative and all of its lies. And even if they were, how were they gonna tell thousands of people about it? It just wasn't possible. So what happened to this building? Well, the people of San Diego were at a crossroads. They were in a bind with what to do with such a pathetic, temporary building. Because we're always told that these buildings were just temporary, right? but they last forever if they just left them alone with incredible architecture. What would they possibly use it for? Well, one year after the exposition in 1916, they built this building and now what? The military needed the space, so the building got to stick around where they used it as a barracks and a post office. And what do you know? This building was also damaged. The money was of course not enough to fix it. So it continued to deteriorate. I wonder what a lot of these wars are actually used for. They wouldn't be in operation to destroy the old world, would they? Remember when we were told that they stopped allowing the public into the California Tower in 1935? Well, the mainstream history just can't put their finger on why the Farm Bureau discontinued the use of Balboa Park for its county fair in 1931, just four years before the public was no longer allowed to go inside these buildings. Well, I would say that we know exactly why they didn't want to hold any county fairs here anymore at Balboa Park. And this wouldn't be an operation without a second exposition at the exact same location of Balboa Park. This one being held at the exact same year of 1935. It's incredible. Clearly they have found something major that went against their narrative and they needed to run it back a second time. So in 1914, we get World War I. One year later, 1915, we get Balboa Park Exposition number one. 1935, we get Balboa Park Exposition number two. One year later, 1936, we get World War II, where they now have yet another name for this building. Building 212, used now by Red Cross, while the Navy yet again modified the interior. Are you still on the fence? Well, there wouldn't be another, no way. This is so clear at this point. The San Diego Aerospace Museum moved into the building briefly in September 1961 before transferring its exhibits across the street to the electric building in 1963, where they stayed until a fire in 1978 destroyed the building now i have a lot to share and i think we have a solid understanding at this point that the narrative surrounding balboa park has consistencies with what we have seen across the world an inspiring story the history of this building you see behind me which was a gathering place a popular one for people and then it burned to the ground but like we're seeing now in paris the community came together to save it in 1978, it too was destroyed by fire. It now has been one of the great regional theaters of the world. The Old Globe Theater was built in 1935 for the California Pacific International Expo and quickly became a popular San Diego landmark. That arson fire in 1978 took the building, but not the fighting spirit of those who loved what it meant for our city. Too many beautiful cities. I've seen those cities are so beautiful and that, you know, for, I don't know how you can ever rebuild them the way they were. It's not possible. I don't know how you can ever rebuild them the way they were. It's not possible. Animals build it again. It's not possible. The narrative holds multiple fire stories. There are so many destroyed buildings within such a short time frame. The same years, basically. It is incredible when you know what to look for. So it's time to go to the east coast of the USA, Buffalo, New York, where we will find the Dennis Building and yet another building that holds multiple names. The Dennis Building, the Glenny Store or Crockery Store, the Glenny Building, 
and the Stanton building. And yet another building that of course holds a fire story in 1905. And not only that, but we also get the reoccurring names. Yes, it is possible for him and his sons to have the exact same name. But when we have seen this in so many narratives about these old world buildings, where both brothers marry somebody named Alice, and their mom is also Alice, and their dog, and their cat, and their hamster that they found at Alice Pet Store. And the building is also named Alice. And this has happened hundreds of times where the AI is generating these names over and over. And then it becomes so clear that these mainstream narratives surrounding these buildings are AI generated and they are produced on a mass scale, which is why so many names are reoccurring. The fire story is in nearly every single one of them and on and on. It also shows how these narratives could be completed so fast. And this really wouldn't be that difficult to produce in such a short time frame. You just throw in the parameters that they want covered in the narrative and the chat GPT can do it in two seconds. We all know here that the chat GPT didn't just come out. It's not brand new. We know this. It's been here before for a very long time and the hidden group has had it. We have shown this in previous episodes and it's definitely something to point out and keep in mind for the future because we have William H. Glennie where he has a son with the same name, William H. Glennie. And like I said, it wouldn't be weird, but we have seen this so many times. Now we are told that modernization of the ground floor has destroyed any identifying plaques and it is not known if the building was the product of a local manufacturer. So. Right here in the narrative, they are admitting that they have no idea who built this place. And they are also admitting that our civilization had destroyed the plaques that once said who constructed the building. This is incredible. So we get a very detailed construction story here. Oh wait, no, no we don't. We also get a construction team that's been shaved off the side of the building and a history that tells us that it was built in 1873. Does this mean 12 months and it's done with zero details, but we are supposed to just trust it, right? And we also get the fire story in 1905. Are you seeing the lies very clearly now? So for the bonus today, we're gonna stay in New York and go even deeper into this and just hammer it home. For anyone that's on the fence, I think this will help you get over. Our Lady of Victory Basilica, located in Lackawanna, New York where the narrative begins with zero waiting around with them just handing us the nod right now. Where in 1916, a fire seriously damaged St. Patrick's Parish Church in Lackawanna, New York. And they tell us that Father Baker just needed to replace that one. The one that has zero documented evidence that it was ever even here. So in 1921, they knocked down a building that has no proof that it was ever even there. And four years later, this one that we see today is just there forever. It's very simple stuff 100 years ago. So we get the fire nod again. And in 1941, we of course get another destruction story where a violent lightning storm causes significant damage to the new building's twin towers. More twin tower stories in New York. So they had to destroy that part of the building and use the powerful lightning of 1941 as an excuse. But of course, after 1941, they never had to worry about the lightning ever again, which is normal and acceptable. No. And I'm gonna show you again that this building is from the old world and they destroy it with these refurbished projects, restoration and the rest, like we have talked about a lot today. They say that Baker died and Joseph takes over. The first thing that Joseph wants to do is take charge of a refurbished project where he has the marble towers replaced. What in the world is he doing taking marble towers off of this building? That is completely backwards. You would not take marble towers off of anything. You would put marble towers on a building if you could. This is a clear operation to diminish the work of the old world and replace it with copper. And what do you know? The copper that he put on there turns green and needs to be replaced with a new one. I love asking this because it really proves the point that these buildings are from the old world and these narratives are ridiculous. But do any of our towns anywhere in the world have any upcoming plans 
or ever in your life have they ever had any plans to knock one of these out or anything close to it in just four years my town did come close when they built the dunkin donuts a few years ago and let me tell you it was a dunkin donuts built by the gods of the 21st century it is perfect the detail in the stonework is incredible the architecture it's just perfect and it only took them five years to plan it out and get the whole thing done i hope you all have a great rest of your day i'll be back very soon with much more see ya